What is going on guys, this is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video and today we got some exciting news regarding Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. Now this game came out almost 22 years ago and it's absolutely crazy to see this game come out again 22 years later. Now remind you, I was only 2 years old so I don't remember any of these games really. I was too young to remember but it seems like everybody is happy that this game is coming back out. Now, I remember getting this game later on, maybe when I was like six or seven, but it seems like the OG community is very happy to see Tony Hawk Pro Skater once again. Now, the Tony Hawk that I'm waiting for is Tony Hawk Underground. That was my game, Tony Hawk Underground 1 and 2. So I'm pretty sure Activision is starting this trend where they're starting to remaster games way more often. Now, back in March, we got Mario for 2 remastered, which was definitely one of the most requested remasters of all time, really. But we don't have no multiplayer. But now they're releasing Pro Skater. I can see Underground 2 and Number 1 releasing. And I can see other Pro Skaters releasing also. To be honest, we're just hoping that Activision releases way more remasters down the line. And of course, for me, which would be way more Call of Duties. So I would like to have Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, uh, Modern Warfare 3 later on down the line to be fully remastered with multiplayer but I'm glad that the OG community is getting Tony Hawk. And of course, we gotta talk about Call of Duty Modern Warfare because today, Infinity War dropped a small update, changing the playlist and adding some new stuff to the item shop. And we got a new operator and her name is Iskra. It is an operator bundle, of course. It comes with her new skin, an assault rifle, a handgun, a vehicle skin, a watch, a new melee weapon, a finishing move, a quip, a calling card, and an emblem. Now this is 20 bucks, 2400 COD points, if you guys want that bundle. And of course, we have another one named the Twin Suns. Now the Twin Suns come with the LMG blueprint and another handgun blueprint with an emblem and a calling card. And with playlist changes, we have Demolition, Dirty Old Houseboat, which features Shipment, Shoe House, and Rust with Mosh Pit game mode. So Domination, Kill Confirmed, and things like that. So you can still get your challenges done, it's still not over, even though Shipment 24-7 has left, you can still get your challenges done in Modern Warfare. Now we know that Summer Games Fest is gonna basically be the substitution for E3, but it's going to be all in the summer months. It's not just gonna be all in one week or one weekend. Now today, they revealed Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, but tomorrow they're gonna to be showing something very special again. Now, what could that really be? A lot of people were saying Crash Bandicoot 4, Call of Duty 2020, Mafia, and of course, lots of other games. But I really don't know what to predict. I don't know if the Call of Duty reveal will be tomorrow. I would think Activision will do their own separate showcase with the new up and coming Call of Duty, but the Mafia game Twitter account has been tweeting some crazy stuff. So they've tweeted like power and family, so could we see another Mafia game on next gen? I'm expecting a PS5 reveal, to be honest. I really do think they're gonna be showing some more stuff for the PlayStation 5, but I could be wrong. But he also did say Wednesday is one of the more important moments this summer. So what's more important this summer, really? The new PS5 and the Series X, right? That's the more important thing going throughout this summer is knowing more about the new generation consoles. But I could still be wrong. We really don't know. We could get another game reveal. Who knows? But I'm really thinking it's something that has to do with the PlayStation. Because we really have little to no information about it. Of course, we have the specs and stuff. But we really don't know nothing about the, the console. We know about the controller and the specs. But nothing really else. So, I really think tomorrow will be something for the PS5. But, like I said, I could be wrong. But I am excited to see what they stream tomorrow also. But... Other than that, that's all I have for you guys. I know I was expecting a reveal today for Call of Duty 2020, but of course, we re really don't know what's going to happen. We're still in the blind. We don't know, but I'm pretty sure we'll be getting some information about Call of Duty 2020 very, very soon. I'm waiting for Charlie Intel to tweet breaking news or something like that for Call of Duty 2020, but I'm very excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. It's a great time to be a gamer, really, because... It's summertime, we're still in quarantine really, and we're getting a lot of gaming news. So that's very exciting. But other than that, this is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video. Please like and subscribe and comment your ideas below. And I am out, man. Peace.